Oh, okay. It's week three of the LCS was coverage brought to you by Alienware. I'm joined right now by Hanser. We had to wait while DeMonte did his interview because he speaks so loud that we could hear him. So here we yeah. are. Here we are. Yeah. Hanser, I just talked to Licorice about Wukong because I don't know if you know this, but Analyst Desk was always talking about Wukong. Mark Z was very big on why aren't any top laners playing Wukong. And... Licorice's take was like NA top laners are generally behind on the meta. Aatrox is not a good pick, and even and we see him picked way too much over here. And it took too long for Wukong to get picked. So I'm curious what your thoughts are on all of that. Um no, I think Wukong's was strong too. But I feel like the way you need to play with him. Fits LPL a lot. That's why they pick it so much. Like, you watch other regions like um, LEC, LCK, and NA. They don't really play Wukong that much because... We haven't played him at all, I think, until today. So, yeah. But, I mean, the other regions did play him more, right? Yeah, they, they play him a little bit, but not that much, right? Not to, the, like, the priority that um, LPL has. And that's just ba based on, like, play style, like... LPL is very fight centric. Wukong is really strong in fighting, but you look at NA. It's kind of like the game I just had, where you just it's a forty minute game. You're split pushing the whole time. You know you're not really fighting that much, and um, I think people just aren't really that confident in um, taking early fights. And yeah, I guess they're really risk averse. So Wukong doesn't pay off that much because he kind of gets like outscaled by other champions if you're going to play a, a different style. But I definitely think it's a strong, a strong pick, and they'll probably be picked more as the season goes on. Uh, do you think that that is, is... Is it an issue that we don't have sort of the same play style as, as LPL, right? Because some people might say, hey, LPL is perhaps the best league. The fact that we're not playing similar to them is probably a bad sign for us, whereas others will say, ah, it's just a style difference. Um... I think it's fine not to play like LPL. Um, just play to what your strengths are, and if it works, then like people are gonna have to copy you, right? Yeah. So it's not like LPL is just copying LCK the whole time. They're just playing their own style, and eventually they won with it. And now everyone's trying to copy them. So it's not necessarily a good thing to 100% like copy someone's play style, but it's good to like take away like the advantages and disadvantages that that there is, and try to add it to your own game. Well, let's talk a little bit about Golden Guardians because you guys were on a loss streak and you lost a couple teams that I think a lot of people thought you wouldn't lose to. You just beat FlyQuest, who some people were saying were, was perhaps like the second best in the league. So what, what is going on here? Because this definitely seems a little... It's, it's weird we don't really know what Golden Guardians we're going to get whenever you guys go into the game. Yeah, I, I think we're just really inconsistent right now. And the past two weeks, we've had... Our, our coaches have been sick and... Um, they haven't been able to like really be with us in practice, and I think that kind of affected the team a little bit. And overall, I think we're just not accountable enough in scrims and practice. So, you know, I think we're winning a lot of times in scrims, but it doesn't translate to stage, and that's like a big problem that we have and we're trying to fix right now. Yeah. Uh, well, you're not on a stage right now. So, what what is it? Uh... <laughs> Because some people might say it doesn't translate to stage, right? Because you get out there and it's way different. But I think you guys are playing in the exact environment that you're playing in scrims. So so what is the disconnect? It's kind of just the mental pressure that you're like, oh, shit, this is a real match. Like, if I fuck up here, it's not like, okay, can we just, like, remake the game or yeah. um, just go next game, you know? There's, there's only one game you're playing. It's not like a five-set scrim. And... Um, making, making the mistake is much more impactful. So people are just less willing to make mistakes or make risky plays. Um, I think that's like our major downfall of the split is just we're kind of like getting in our own heads and not just playing like freely. How do you, do you expect that that'll be solved by next week? Well, no, it won't be solved, but the problem will be, it'll be getting better, you know? Okay. As time it's goes on, you're I think we'll on. be getting more comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Uh, what do you think of the lineup? Because obviously you made changes in the mid lane between last split and this split, and I don't think I've interviewed you since you made those changes. So, um, you know, what? How's it been? At the very least, how's it been working out over the past couple of weeks? Uh, you know, obviously losses set aside. Um, I think our lineup's pretty good. Adding Demonte gave us like more of a, um, a roaming mid style, and that's. Helps our team a lot because we like to play around um, jungle top and bot. Um, not so much through mid. And, uh, you know, we just kind of just play that strength that we have and get as much of a lead as you can. Gotcha. Okay, so it feels like this is a, a good setup for the team right now. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Are your coaches back in, in order? Everything's fine? Yeah, it's been it's been two weeks, and uh, our coach does not have corona, so yeah. I think we're in the clear. I saw an arrow tweeted that he he had like negative results or whatever. So it's gotta be. I, I assume when you guys see this stuff, you go, "Oh my gosh, he must have it" or something. You guys all get nervous. Yeah, we were like, "Oh, okay, bro, you're not coming to the office. Like, fuck off. Like, get out of here. Yeah. Don't touch me. You know, yeah. like we're like, oh, sh- should we stay home now?" But um. Yeah, we've adapted well. Okay. Uh, the last question I was asking, because he's not casting today, so right before I got in this interview with you, I yelled into his bedroom and said, Kobe, do you have any questions for Hanser? <laughs> and he wants to know who your favorite caster is. My favorite caster? Yeah. Um, my favorite caster is Kobe. Okay, why is it Kobe? Uh, because he's really cool. <laughs> he's standing right behind you right now. Uh, he's actually, not standing behind me. There's no one. No, nah, he, he he was just there. I don't believe that. But um, uh, he's named after Kobe Bryant. Yeah. And um, that's my in-game name, on League. Oh, okay. Actually, I I've I've known Kobe for quite a while. I used to play some ARAMs with him, okay. so uh, that's why I think he's the best. Were you, was this when you were a competitor that you played ARAMs with him, or is this before? Yeah, you, you know, knew it was just for pro? fun. It was okay. just for fun. Okay. Yep. Just for fun. Nice. How did those ARAMs usually go? Uh, I don't remember. It was quite a while ago. Okay. It was a long time ago, actually. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, he'll be happy. That, that'll brighten his day because I know he was he was bummed that he he wasn't casting today. So, either way, Hans, there anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Uh it's been a rough, like every GS start of the split has been. But you know, all I think I'd say is like, yeah, we're doing our best. We're gonna try to get better, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we perform. Well, thank you so much for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Hello. I didn't really have a great idea for what to do for this outro um, when I hit record just now, and I was hoping that in the moments after hitting record, I would come up with something, um, and that maybe by stalling, by talking about this situation I was in, it would give me time to come up with something. But it didn't. So please, go check out Alienware. Uh, they sponsor us. Alienware.com slash Travis. Travis 10 off Q2. There's a link in the video description. And maybe, with your support, I can come up with an actual idea on what to do for these outros.